such a gorgeous day out. A little bit of cloud cover. Silence. So nice. Love coming out here. Out hiking day, I have a family group from Texas came out and asked us to show them a really pretty canyon. So we're out here hiking on Cedar Mesa. And uh, we got to chatting with them on the way in and they spent some time in uh, Arches National Park yesterday. And uh, they were just uh, amazed and at the same time appalled the, the number of people that were in there. And how much impact the people were having in that park and they've already commented out here we've been out here with them for an hour or so and I already commented how nice it is to be out here and be away from the traffic and the groups and see how pristine this area is and how natural and preserved and taken care of this site is and it's just kind of frustrating to me to see all the environmental groups that are pushing this area to become a national monument and to think that once this place becomes a national monument and gets on the radar how many more people are going to be impacting this area I've been hiking here for almost 20 years and you very rarely see another person out here and that's why this area is so pristine is because the impact out here is so minimal um, all these sites and all these areas out here have been so well preserved and so well managed by the BLM that it's nice to come out here and just be by yourself instead of having this turned into another government circus um, another area that people will be flocking to um, just gorgeous gorgeous I'm standing here on the rim of a canyon by myself the uh, group that we have is down in the canyon they're coming towards me we'll hook up here in a bit but just nothing nobody else out here quiet and it's sad to see that the environmentalists who think they are going to protect this area by making it a national monument is actually going to destroy the area by bringing more people in being someone that lived or has lived in Blanding in the area for nearly 20 years now it's just been a really great escape to come out and see these areas and it's sad to see that the environmental groups putting so much money behind their campaigns so much effort into bashing the locals and calling us vandals when we're probably the ones that have been taking care of this area for so long alongside the BLM and it's just kind of sad to hear the bigotry comments from everyone trying to protect this area and think that their cause is higher and more important than the locals being able to look after the land and take care of it and I mean so far as this week have someone comment on Facebook that we don't deserve to even live here and they wished our town would die because this land is more is more important than the cost of an economy and human life surviving in the area just the atrocity of human beings right now and the way that they're willing to get what they want by taking out another community is just disgusting and it's just the way this country's going there's no more one for all and all for one it's me 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 give me my land give me my space no you can't have it and it's just annoying I gotta turn this off because I got a down climb here hold on 
when can we get to a point in this country that we're back to everybody working together for a cause and not groups fighting against each other because their cause is better than the other. This country is so far in the hole right now with people's feelings and attitudes towards one another. It's just ridiculous. All ropes ready and we're set to get down the canyon as soon as the group shows up here. But I'm stuck with a dilemma, the fact that I'm using equipment, black diamond helmet, black diamond harness, um, other stuff that, um, some pets rescue gear and stuff that is now coming from manufacturers that are supporting the monument out here and supporting that push and effectively, in essence, trying to shut me out from being out here and doing this and trying to prevent me from having the permits and the requirements that I follow to be out here and take care of this land when I'm out. Um, kind of frustrating and annoying and even being a member of the search and rescue um, we use a lot of the same equipment and we'll be using the same equipment to come out and rescue everybody out here if this ever turns into a national monument and people are um, in trouble and need our help and it's frustrating that these manufacturers have ignored that aspect of things and are only looking at how their names on the petition will draw in more business for them they believe um, they're they're failing to look past the support that has been given to them over the years already by us that are actually using the products in this uh, arena in this environment um, i mean the locals try to outreach and to work together and even during their press conference last week the outdoor industry kicked out the locals that were there trying to see what was going on and participate and um, yeah, they, they're against the monument, but um, they're trying to be involved, and the outdoor industry uh, decided that they weren't welcome to be in their press conference, which is just frustrating and annoying, and kind of embarrassing for myself to be involved in the outdoors and doing this kind of stuff and have these manufacturers that are not listening to what the locals are interested in and what we have to say about the matter. All they're looking at is is their pocketbooks and their budgets, it seems like. So, kind of frustrating. We're going to get the group down here and we'll take off here into the canyon in a bit. And we're going to enjoy some beautiful scenery and we're going to do this as long as we can as we take care of the land out here and manage it um, as we have been for decades and um, show off some great scenery. So. It's an Enviro B. Hold! <laughs> okay. Go away. Good grief. It's an Enviro B. He's attacking me. He's trying to kick me out already. <laughs> 